So right here behind me on the table, I've got three different coolers and they're all designed for low profile mini ITX AMD AM4 motherboards. And today we're gonna to be testing all three different coolers out. However, what makes one of these so special is that it's actually an AM4 server cooler. It's from Dynatron and you can currently pick it up for 37 US dollars delivered. However, that's in the US. If you're in other parts of the world, it's a little bit more difficult to obtain. However, at this price, is this little cooler worth considering? Today we're gonna to test out the temperatures and also the noise and see how it compares to two top favorites. That is the included Ray Stealth Cooler and also the Cryo Rig C7. Today's video is brought to you by Vikings War of Clans. With a recent massive update adding new shamans and kingdoms, it's now a better time than ever to install this free-to-play game. Though what I really recommend trying is the massive in-game battle events with over 1 million players. This is crazy action going on. The Vikings really stands out with its 3D HD graphics with smooth gameplay, but the best thing is you can choose your style of gameplay, whether it's building up an indestructible fortress or attacking the enemy, you can choose that style for your own. Though to get the most out of this game, you really have to experience it for yourself. Kind of reminds me of those late 90s, early 2000s games like Age of Empires, for example. But ultimately, if you do want to try out this game, then click on my link in the description below where you get a bonus 200 gold and a protection shield for free. Anyway, let's move on with the video. Welcome back to Tech Yesterday, and here we've got the three coolers on the desk, and this is the most interesting because I've never heard of it up until a viewer sent this in, in an episode of Can Yes Fix It. I'll put the link up in the description here if you guys want to check out that video. But essentially, this cooler weighs in at 500 grams, so it's very heavy. It feels of really good quality, and it's actually 130 grams more heavier than this Cryo Rig C7, which comes in at around 360 to 370 grams. And also this cooler here comes in at 37 US, so it's not breaking the bank. Uh, the Cryo Rig C7, for example, comes in around 30 US. And then this here, the Race Stealth, of course, comes for free, and that weighs in at 300 grams. It's actually a really nice included cooler, especially if you're buying a budget AMD Ryzen APUs or CPUs. However, today we're gonna to test it with the 2400G, and we're gonna see how well these three coolers perform, and also their noise levels. So now we're on the second set of tests here. I decided to try another motherboard because it was getting very hot on the ASRock board, uh, but it's exhibiting the same behavior on the MSI board here. Now, it wasn't contacting properly on the uh, ASRock board, but I'm positive now it's making contact on the MSI board. And so now this is the third time I am testing the AM4 Dynatron cooler and it's actually not making contact properly with the MSI motherboard as well as it was with the ASRock motherboard. I'm actually free mounting this and it's finally making proper contact with the CPU. Beforehand, the CPU was throttling. It wasn't performing uh, like it is now. It's actually not really throttling, but the temperatures are actually really high still. It's reaching 103 degrees practically at that level where it's gonna start throttling. Uh, the idle temperatures were down to 40 degrees, which is not too bad. Um, and so we're gonna run a Cinebench score now for you guys and see how it does perform and also some quick noise tests. So now we're finishing up with the Ray Stealth, tested it for over 10 minutes and the temperatures are starting to stabilize here on the package node zero. We're getting about 76 degrees, maximum of 86. So it looks like there's no throttling at all. However, we'll quickly run a Cinebench score and get some noise numbers with DB terms for you guys, holding the meter from 15 centimeters from the cooler.
intended for different purposes. The Wraith Stealth is being a phenomenal value proposition, does really well, especially for the 2400G and also the 2200G, comes included with the CPU. It's a great cooler, has 55 mil clearance, but if you want something a little better, you can go for the Cryo Rig C7, which comes in 45 mil clearance, and in my opinion, has a better fan included, which does downdraft the air and help cool around the surrounding components around the CPU, like the VRM, for example. And I did test this with the thermo imaging camera. The noise levels between the Stealth and also the Cryo Rig were very similar, and the temperatures were giving an advantage to the Cryo Rig over the Stealth. However, they both handily beat the Dynatron here, which in its fair defense, it does have only a 30 mil clearance, so it is extremely low profile. It's lower than that of standard DDR4 memory, so it's really going to go well with low profile DDR4 memory. And of course, it's intended for the server market where they're gonna fit a lot of these low powered CPUs that can mount these things properly and they don't care about noise because this thing did get very noisy, as you may have heard before, and also it doesn't mount properly on uh, AM4 consumer grade boards. So if you do wanna get something like this, just keep in mind you may have some headaches. I had to free mount this thing and then I got some decent figures out of it. Keep in mind, it still wasn't performing anywhere near as good as the other two options that I presented here today. But ultimately with this little cooler, it does uh, blow air completely away from the motherboard as well. So it does have another purpose, but for $36, I would avoid this thing, especially compared to the other two options I presented here today. Unless of course, you know how to mount this thing and you desperately need that 30 mil clearance. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else you wanna add about this. Uh, the cooler is certainly not as good as the music. Dynatron makes some awesome music. But another really cool thing I learned today with the thermo imaging camera is this base plate, since it is really shiny, it can't get an accurate reading as this was well over 40 degrees. It was really hot to touch, but it was reflecting off the uh, thermo imaging camera so it couldn't read it properly. Uh, but when we took a look inside, it was giving out really hot temperatures compared to what it was reflecting off. So that was something interesting that came out of today's test as well as a few other things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.